All right, hi people. This is the fourth video segment that I'm doing on welding. Uh, the first one was dealing with uh, an assembly, which was modeled with shell element. The second one was not really, uh, and uh, by the way, in the first one, I did spot welding, seam welding, and, and surface welding. The second one was not quite a welding problem, but it's some icon which appears in the same toolbar as welding, and I showed that. Uh, and then uh, I, uh, the third one was uh, uh, these three welding types. Uh, in other words, uh, uh, spot, spot seam and surface for a single part instead of an assembly which was, which was done with shell elements, okay? Here, I want to take that same scenario. In other words, a single part, but the elements are not shell. The elements are solid, okay? Tetrahedral solid. There is, there is a surprising, uh, surprising thing that you're going to see there, uh, but uh, it's, it, it's helpful. So we have two plates like that, slightly, uh, slightly apart. And then uh, the, the lefts are uh, the lefts are both uh, left and and sections are uh, clamped, and on the right edge, the right edge on the right right side are applied load. These are uh, we're going to do it with the spot welding, seam welding, and uh, surface welding. So uh, let me start uh, from the very scratch, from the very beginning. I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, let's start with the part file. It's very simple. On this uh, plane, I'm going to sketch a rectangle. A rectangle. And uh, let me give it some dimensions here. This is going to be 40 inches. Okay, the thickness of the, the plate or that rectangle is going to be 4 millimeters. Okay, exit, and we pad it by, obviously we have to in, in part design, we pad it by uh, 100 millimeters, 150 millimeters. Okay, then I'm going to make another rectangle above this, and uh, so uh, on a convenient plane, so on that same vertical plane, I will sketch another rectangle, just like that. Let's dimension it. This is 40. Uh, thickness is uh, 4. And obviously, if you're going to do any spot with the sea building, these cannot be far distance, uh, you know, far apart like that. So let me put some gap between them, small gap between them. So the gap from here to here will make it uh, a tenth of a millimeter, 0.1 millimeter. Okay, otherwise just welding does not make sense. Exit and pad it by 150 millimeters. Good. Okay, so uh, I want to remind you that when we do any of these welding spot, seam, and surface, you need to put them in a geometrical set. So let me create a geometrical set. And here is a single part, it doesn't matter, I mean, there's only a single part. So uh, insert the geometrical set, I'll say this thing for spot welding. Let me make uh, three points. The three points, uh, because I have these dimensions, I have an idea what the coordinates are. Uh, what coordinates I want to choose. For example, for uh, X, I would use uh, 10. For Y, we'll use uh, one, I made this thing 150 long, so I'll make it 140. And for Z, uh, I'm going to put it, uh, you know, uh, right above that plane. The actual location is not clear, but uh, I'll put it right on top of the face of the top plane. Okay, it's right there. And then I do two more. So this one is going to be 20, and next one is going to be 30, so three points. 
Okay, I'm done. Okay, then I want to create two lines here, and I want to put a uh, single line where these two are going to be spot welded together. And uh, uh, I'm going to make another geometric set. So insert another geometric set, and I'm going to call it for seam uh, welding. Okay, very good. Now to do that, I create a point, which is, I, I would like it to be different from the, these because I wanted to make it look different uh, and then uh, make a line starting from that point. So first first I make a point here, actually this is the same point that I made last point was okay, except that I make it, I'll make it a 145, slightly to the right. It's right there, you can see that. And then I make line, uh, point and direction. So the point is the one that just just made. Did I make it? No, that's wrong. Try it again. Uh, line, point and direction. The point is this, and the uh, direction is x, but in the other direction, and I'll make it uh, 30 millimeters. Uh, maybe. 20 millimeters, 20 millimeters. Okay, so there is my line. You can see that right right there. Okay, I could have made it longer, but that's okay. Now, I also want to draw a patch here, which is going to be used for surface welding, and that would be surprising. The outcome would be surprising. So insert a new geometric set. I'll call it for surface welding. Okay, good. There we are. So uh, I, I would like to draw uh, some kind of a, a patch there. So you know the easiest way, can I hide this thing? The problem is that when I hide it, both of them, both of them are going to go because of the way I did it. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, a little plane above, uh, above uh, offset from this by four millimeter, and then I draw on it whatever I want. So I'll make a plane, offset from this, four millimeters, and now I can draw on this plane whatever I want. Okay, so uh, let me see. Uh, so the patch that I would like to make, how about making a, a circle, circular patch right here? It really doesn't matter. I can make it a rectangle. Okay, there we are. Exit. Exit. And put a surface on it. Obviously, you have to go to generative uh, shape design or wireframe and surface design and fill this thing. So it puts a surface there. And you can see that. Okay, good. Let's get our stuff back. Uh, where are they? Right here. Okay. Make everything out of steel. Everything out of steel. On the part. And close it. And why don't we save everything? File. Save management. Save as. Desktop. New folder. And I'll call it... Uh, September 8th. Excellent. Now we're going to go to generative uh, uh, structure analysis. CATIA, it sees a single part, immediately it meshes it. So let me make this thing a lot smaller. So maybe thickness, maybe element size of, uh, I'll make it three. I'm not going to use parabolic because I'm a graphics card which doesn't display the stresses correctly. So here is a situation, by the way, right there. There is a gap here, there is a gap. See, there is a gap here, right? That's okay, you know that. Uh, so uh, let me see for a second here. Uh, we, we're gonna deactivate the, the mesh. All right, let's do the restraints here. So. Uh, this end is clamped, and that end is clamped. Okay, very good. 
and we have a load where do we apply our load also we have a downward load of 100 pounds which is 10 kilogram on the side right all right now let me remind you we have a single part here and the first thing that we want to do uh, welding so the first thing that we have to do is to create connection now not the first one not this one because this is for assembly it's the next one it says point analysis connection point analysis connection within a part so I clicked on it there's only one component I pick it and the points are in that geometric set that I created here point geometric set remember for spot welding say okay here are the connections that are created now in anticipation of doing seam welding and surface welding I'll do the, the this one too so uh, connection is uh, the, the component is just one component that you've got just one part and for the the line we have a single line now uh, we have to p pick this line okay you say okay and finally a uh, surface uh, analysis connection within a part single part click on it there's only one oop. Try it again. There's only one component that I have that I picked it, and for the surface, I select this fill. Okay, very good. Now, the fact that these are kind of a dark, uh, 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 highlighted here is because we create these are the connections that we created. Okay, I can, if I go and hide the like, look, if I go here and hide any one of these, for example, if I do the, the last one, I hide this thing, this rectangle is going to go. At least the, the the solid rectangle is going to go. I get it. Put it back. Now, now that we have created our connections, let's go and create, define the the actual uh, welding. So this is going to be spot welding. So uh, the only thing that we can pick is this one. And the simplest type of welding is assumed that it's all rigid. Otherwise, you have to fool around with these other options. Let me say okay and notice that spot welding connection mesh is created here and uh, we can run it assuming i didn't forget anything but i don't think i did all right done Oops. so let's look at the one mesa stress plot for example there we are and change the rendering to material shading. There we are. First of all, these patches means this is a horrible mesh. Whenever you get something like that, means checker, checkerboard the mesh pattern means that your mesh is no good. All right. But uh, this is where these ends are spot welded. Okay. If we are happy with this, so we're going to delete from the properties. You have to go to properties, delete the spot welding, delete it. Now let's try the seam welding. So seam welding is right here. Seam welding connection property is right there. And you go and select the support for seam welding. Line analysis connection, again rigid, and run it. Nothing surprise, surprising, it's just that at that end, uh, the both uh, things are going to deflect and uh, it's completely welded along that edge so uh, along that not edge but uh, the, uh, the the line activate right there of course if you look at the numbers these numbers cannot be trusted anyway because of the checkerboard pattern here but if you were looking at these then you have to see how different it is now the other thing you should notice is that actually Generally speaking, if a beam bends, the, the, the variation is linear around, uh, along that, okay? Uh, but but because, uh, because I'm dealing with a, a spot welding, uh, this is not the standard, you know, variation of the stress and strain that you see in, in beam or shell bending, okay? Because these are spot, uh, these are seam welded. Now, the ironic thing is, let's try, let me go to properties and delete this. Let's try to do surface welding right there. Surface welding. Now, obviously, the connection that I want is surface. But it won't let you close it because you have to define the properties of the, the weld here. 
So we cancel that, we cancel that. We've seen this kind of a thing before. You click on user defined material. You select the, the way you want that, uh, you know, uh, weld to be made of. Okay, so steel. And you say, okay, so in your tree, you do have a user defined material, which is properties of steel. So now we're gonna try uh, surface welding. Your connection is gonna be surface connection and your material is going to be user-defined and it's going to be whatever I have from uh, the tree here, user-defined there. Say OK and we say OK and we're going to run it. No problem, it will run. Don't worry about that. OK, no problem. But if you look at the stress, Yeah, if you look at the stress, uh, then, well, they, they, they will be, obviously they will be different. They will be different and they, will be, they may be substantially different because of the, the way spot uh, this surface welding is. The problem is that things cannot be, I mean, Thick objects cannot be surface welded together. Now I can see if you have two, you know, uh, flimsy sheets, you can spot weld it easily, you can seam weld it, and there are mechanisms for making actually patches weld to other, uh, the other piece. Uh, patches from one face to uh, kind of melt and patch uh, and attach to the other one. But uh, uh, one has to be very careful. So really surface welding is not designed for uh, solid objects. Okay, so you know, really thick solid object because you just cannot cannot do it. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So, uh, oh, by the way, uh, I wanted to point out that this other one, this other feature that I had in the third video segment is not going to work for uh, uh, a single part because when you click on this, it immediately asks for two parts. First component, second component. And when you have a single part, that won't happen. It is okay when you have uh, two parts or more, more parts, but not a single part. So that takes care of this. Uh